Historical street level images from digitized archives are an underutilized source of geodata. For example, the New York Historical Society has over 66,000 photos depicting New York City before, during, and after the construction of the subway, both below and above ground uh, in the first half of the 1900s. Detailed streetscapes show how people used to live, to dress, to shop, uh, to commute, and these photos have associated metadata like predicted geographic coordinates. Uh, so here are some examples of how people used to dress, commute, shop, and work. And these archival photos create a nostalgic connection to places such as Times Square depicted here. So how can we create compelling geographic experiences using old photos and location tools? In short, how can we invent the future of mapping images of the past? And the answer builds on top of impressive work such as the New York Public Library's Street View Then and Now of Fifth Avenue, Julian Boylan's 1940s NYC that maps old tax photos of most buildings in the city, Chris Wong's A Stroll Down Flappish Avenue that manually plots 65 subway construction photos, and Stamen Design's 12 Sunsets that maps street-level images of Los Angeles over 12 different years. I'll focus on two themes, navigation and immersion, and highlight some relevant functionality. Navigating a vast trove of archival photos with imprecise coordinates is still an open problem. Let's assume that you can automatically geocode images with text metadata describing their locations, which are often at intersections and result in many overlapping or misplaced photos. We should be able to navigate to the next or previous photo in the collection, or the next or previous photo geographically, such as the one just north, south, or across the street, handling many photos geocoded at the same location. We should also be able to query images by their text keywords and leverage emerging technologies that allow us to search for images by content that may not be tagged. Neural networks such as OpenAI's Clip allow us to semantically search images by text, utilizing image similarity and correspondences between images and text. So we want to be able to search a collection for all the images of dogs, for example or we want to plot the locations of images of all the theaters or houses of worship in a given city. And emerging technology also enables new immersive 3D experiences of old places. Say we have a photo, photos for a stretch of a street, like this sidewalk. How can we use um, computer vision techniques to place these photos in three-dimensional space and align them so that we can see these photos together and potentially drape them on top of 3D building models, creating a more immersive way of experiencing a city. Uh, let's say we have photos of an important monument, like this one of Benjamin Franklin, or this statue of George Washington near Wall Street. If we have enough photos from different perspectives, how can we use established techniques like photogrammetry or rapidly emerging techniques like neural radiance fields or NERFs to either create 3D content from old images or to synthesize new views that aren't even seen in these photos and create fly-throughs through an old version of a place. So in this short time, I've shown you less than 1% of the photos in this collection, and I hope that you take more time to think about and work with archival Street View images as geographic data. And I want to acknowledge that this work took place um, in the New York Times research and development team, so I want to thank my peers there and thank you for your time today. Thank you.